Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. Sing our thanks to God. And to try to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathway. 
And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like kisses before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Oh God, I come to you, come to me now, O God, goodness when I wait my words. The psalm for this week is Psalm 8. It is, of course, the psalm assigned for last Sunday, June 7th. Last Sunday is known as Holy Trinity Sunday. Now, Psalm 8, of course, is a psalm of creation, but it's also a psalm that speaks of the great relationship that God has chosen to establish with us. It's a powerful gift in the promise of who we are in relationship to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let's join in then responsively reading Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth! You whose glory is chanted above the heavens out of the mouths of infants and children, you have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in your courses, what are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you've made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crowned them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. What an amazing psalm. What are we mortals that, that God is mindful of us? We've been created a little less than divine, we are promised. Anytime we turn to the power of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we do well to remember that it tells us about the gift of love that exists in those three persons of God. And so, with that, we can be mindful that God invites us into that same relationship, one with another and with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As I said, Psalm 8 is a psalm about the wonder of creation, but it also invites us to think about the power of love and relationship. I know I think about it a lot in these days, these days when we are sequestered, when we are in quarantine, when we're apart from one another, how difficult that is, but perhaps it's a lesson in helping us remember 
just how precious this relationship is that God has created for us. We've been given a great responsibility and a great gift. Pray Psalm 8 often. Now let us turn then to our prayer song. Throughout the season of Pentecost, we turn to many wonderful songs. One of those is and will be Spirit of the Living God. As you're able, please sing, but most certainly pray Spirit of the Living God. Strong is 
praise your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one, strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forever. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have filled with hungry with heavens here, and blessed me all my life through. Let us pray. By your power, great God, our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed the sick and gave new hope to the hopeless. Though we cannot command or possess your power, we pray for those in need of your healing gifts this day. Mend all wounds, soothe fevered brows, and make broken people whole again. Help us to welcome every healing as a sign that, though death is against us, you are for us and have promised renewed and risen life in our Lord Jesus. We pray for those in affliction, Lord Christ. You came into the world as one of us and suffered with us as we do. As we go through the trials of recent days, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things, and in you there is life. We are thankful for all who are serving this day in health services. Grant those who take care of others, who serve in that way, grant them courage and hopefulness in their work. Give them security in their own health conditions and sustain them by your loving presence. We pray these things in the name of our Lord Jesus and the one who has taught us to pray his prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days.
I will dwell in the 